I don't know whether you know an artist, a singer called Nena Cherry. Uh, she, we, uh, she had this song called Buffalo Stance. And Buffalo Stance was about the attitude of the buffaloes. It was like, we always hang in a buffalo stance. It was, like, it was the attitude of, of all the, the guys in this particular book. And, uh, it, I mean, it was mostly, it was mostly mixed race and uh, there's this guy named Cayman and his brother Barry. And it was, you know, it was all about kind of taking, like I said, taking men's fashion into a kind of credible street view. And, uh, you know, using kind of iconic men's imagery but in an interesting way, like cowboys and all the kind of, you know, kind of... Uh, if you like iconic version, iconic things, but kind of twisting them in men's fashion. So this was a you can have a look at this after. But, so this was a kind of twenty years celebration of this in the magazine, and uh, uh, I jumped a bit quickly. I wanted to show you. Um, this, uh, I'll show you Nena. this is Nena. Twenty years later, uh, she's a grandmother now. So to me. The idea of a shot like this, again, it's have to use the clothes in order to, uh, like I described before, so even in the magazine that we're doing, that my most treasured work, which is revisiting all my old collaborators, you still have to use the fashion that works for the advertiser within the magazine. So this is Comme de Gasson. But, you know, I hope this is an example of using, you know, Comme de Gasson shirt and jacket, but creating up a completely your own authentic vision of that. So we used, I used to go Frida Kahlo, the artist. This is her kind of one of her poses, and kind of the idea of the kind of Mexican and the ethnic thing of that, <coughs> and the kind of classic portraiture of those kind of posed portraits. But at the same time, it's actually quite a high fashion. Things. It's, it's, it's within, within the magazine and the fashion content. So, this is again, it's kind of using, you know, this is all clothes of Tom Ford, but again, I'm kind of wanting to use the kind of uh, the aesthetic of the matadors and the kind of, you know, for me, the kind of portraiture that I like is of all this kind of black and white classic portraiture. So, I bring that into the fashion context and the portrait context in which I work. So, you know, this, this again is just all these kind of fashion designers. Uh, and, you know, this is the girl. So I'm also playing with kind of... You know, so to me, these are kind of interesting. So to me, this is, this is a Gucci jacket. Right? In fact, that's what you say. But to me, the Gucci thing is all about bling and all this kind of very high fashion stuff. But the kind of the guys that started all that were, you know, Little Richard and all those kind of people that. So that's why I did that. I kind of did this girl dressed as Little Richard in the kind of bling way that is very fashionable, but put it in the context that I I found interesting. You know, so that goes on. Uh, now I'm gonna show you some kind of work stuff. Uh, so, <coughs> this is Dr. Martin's, which I'm actually going back to do this afternoon. Uh, and this is, this is from a film that you can't actually see, uh, unfortunately. But this is, so what, what I'm doing here, the, the, Dr. Martin has asked for the, it's 50 years since the brand has been making their boots and they wanted to do uh, they commissioned 10 photographer directors and I've, I've moved into film as well because in these you know in these days uh, with the with the internet the whole thing's changing in the sense that the magazines are getting less and less uh, there's a lot more stuff happening online and as much as the photography works, People are looking for, to find ways for it to move. And it's very difficult to move fashion well. 
because essentially, you know, it's very stuck in the medium of the illusion of this, this pose. So, you know, in a, in a photograph, you're creating a kind of image that on some levels is, uh, is not truthful image, you know, because you know, there's all this hair and makeup and all this stuff going on, and then you produce this image, and, you know, you're kind of, the image that's created is, is, is nothing to do with, well, it is obviously something to do with it, but it goes beyond the process. So, you know, what people are finding is that when they're filming fashion, what was actually you see a girl, you actually see what it took for her to get there. And the illusion is broken, so it's actually not creating a kind of a, a powerful aesthetic. What the film's doing for a lot of things is actually giving the game away. So there's a real big market for people that can take, find ways to create uh, fashion portraiture in this kind of uh, commercial world into a moving context, which, you know, I've done a lot of that over the years because I've always been really interested in film. So, I've managed to start to work with that. So, what, what I did here was, this, this is actually stills from a film that I made. And uh, it was basically, the idea was, you know, Dr. Martins is a brand that's had, they were like, they want to celebrate 50 years of their Thing. And to me, you know, having been gone through Dr. Martin's punk, skinheads, you know, for me it's a very, very cultural thing. And it's a perfect example where actually a fashion brand does have a relevance culturally. Because within all youth culture, Dr. Martin's has been used, and still is today, in so many different types of uh, teenage youth culture. So I wanted to look at that girl. all... How does that work for me? What do I think represents that? So I looked at all the kind of uh, the styles that I liked within Dr. Martin's and kind of put them in this. I got one person from each kind of style. So I got a skinhead, uh, kind of a grungy Courtney Love kind of character. This is kind of a bit of a rock chick kind of girl. And I basically uh, 